Hey y'all, welcome to She Talks A Lot. Today we are talking getting ready with me. On this day I was preparing to film the intro and outro to the tutorial for the hairstyle I'm wearing. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I posted that last week. I will link it in the cards or down below. But yeah, we're going to do our a full beat and then uh, show you my accessories at the end. Let's jump right into it. All right, so first I am going in with the Morphe Filter Effects Soft Focus Foundation in Filter Rich 28. This is like my perfect shade. I am applying that to the back of my hand and then I'm going to go in with a stippling brush and just stipple that all over my face. I do uh, drag it back to my ears as well as a little bit down my neck just to make sure everything is fully blended and that we're not missing any spots. And it's just dabbing and dragging. Yep, dragging that, making sure to get in the hairline. And now we're going in with the MAC Fix Plus setting spray and spraying that all over our face. And you want to make sure that that's dry before you go in for the next step. So if you have a fan available, whether it's a manual fan like I have or one of those battery powered fans, I suggest having that on hand. And now I am just brushing my brows, the few brow hairs that I have, into the sh my desired shape. And then I am going to go in with the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse on an angled brush. And I am starting out by lining the bottom of my brow, so determining the shape from the bottom. And that will also decide how long my tail is. I've done that on both sides, and now I'm going to outline the top of my brow. But I do not start at the very beginning of the brow. I start maybe a quarter of an inch back, just to make sure that the beginning of my brow is not too harsh. And we're going to go ahead and do that on both sides and just following the shape that we want. And now I'm brushing the uh, brow cream into the brow hairs. This is just kind of to blend it out so the lines aren't so harsh and it looks more natural and hair-like. And now we're going in with the Sephora Waterproof Brow Pencil in Ebony. And that's what I'm going to use to fill in that front portion of my brow that I left uh, unfilled in and that's just to make sure that the front of my brow looks more like hair than just pomade we don't want sharpie brows y'all remember those we don't want them yep so just going in going in both direct going vertically and horizontally with the hairs because the further back you get on the brow the direction of the hair tends to change and now I'm just brushing again once again to just blend out the product I applied and now we're going in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish in deep chestnut. This is uh, like my skin tone uh, concealer. This is not a highlighter or a, con or a contour. This is just my skin tone. And I'm going in to carve out the bottom of my brows and also applying it to my lid to sort of act like a brow, I mean a uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm applying that all over the lid. I'm kind of blending that out with my makeup sponge. Don't worry, I'm not being that rough. I just have squishy eyeballs. It, it looks more rough than it is. <laughs> I have big, bulgy, squishy eyeballs. Um, and then I for realized that I forgot to moisturize my lips before I started, so I'm just going in with a little Blistex because I already had that sitting on my desk, which is where I'm doing my makeup today. All right, and now I'm going in with the Morphe concealer in the shade C3.55. That's all they gave me. They didn't give me a name, just those numbers. So I'm applying that as my highlight. This is probably about two or three shades lighter than my actual, actual skin tone. And I'm blending that in with my beauty sponge. There we go, and then taking that same concealer to highlight under my eyes. Not too much, I'm staying mostly towards the inner corner. I'm not going all the way out to the sides of my face. And blending that with my sponge as well. There we go. And now I am taking my contour shade, which is the Elf Camos, or 
e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish in rich cocoa. This is probably about three shades darker than my actual skin tone and I'm applying that to the sides of my nose, the a little bit on the tip of my nose and then also my cheekbones and forehead just to kind of give some color to those areas. There we go. I'm going ahead and blending that out with my makeup sponge. And now back in with the MAC Fix Plus and my fan. There we go. And now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronzer Palette and using the darker shade on the bottom there just to go over the places I just contoured with the cream concealer. And we're using a pretty fluffy brush for that. Just It's just a light dusting. I'm not doing too much. It's mostly for setting purposes. Um, we've already applied the color and now I'm going in with the julep insta filter invisible finishing powder And I'm gonna use this to set all the places that I highlighted I'm using the powder puff sponge that actually comes in the compact to apply this powder And I'm applying that to all those highlighted areas and now I'm going in with a fluffy brush to dust away the excess Go and now we're going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist all over and back in with the fan. And now I'm going to apply my Morphe Bake and Set Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Rich. Um, so this is a brownish setting powder and I'm going to apply this to my entire face to kind of give it an even uh, coloring all over. It doesn't darken any of your highlighted areas because it is still translucent, but it does give it a more even finish. And now we're going in with the P Patricia Bright Makeup Revolution Set, or uh, excuse me, eyeshadow palette. The first color we're going to go in with is Biggest Fan, which is just like a very light brown shade. And I'm using that to basically set the concealer on my eyelids. And now we're taking this uh, bright yellow shade called Never Say Never and applying that to the inner corner. All right, and now we're going in with this green shade called Risk Taker, and that's gonna go um, basically everywhere the yellow isn't, so from about three quarters out from the inner corner uh, all the way to the outer corner, as well as a little bit in the crease. It might take a few coats to really deepen it to the shade you want, but it does have really good color payoff. I really like this palette. And now I have uh, wiped all the product off of my eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going in to kind of marry that yellow and green color together so we have a nice gradient and no harsh lines. And now we're going in with the shade You Are Gold, which as the name would imply is a gold shimmery shade. I'm applying a little bit of setting powder, excuse me, setting spray to my uh, eyeshadow brush. This is like a pencil style brush just to help pick up the glitter and make sure it sticks. And I'm just dabbing that into my inner corner and you can already see the shine that that adds. All right, and now that we have that, now I'm gonna go back in with that shade Risk Taker and apply that to my outer corner uh, lower lash line and then taking the yellow Never Say Never shade and applying that to the lower lash line towards the inner corner. All right, and now we're going in with our NYX uh, Sweet Cheeks Creamy Powder Blush in the shade Bang Bang. And I apply that pretty high up on my cheeks, kind of curving around the eye socket area, as well as a little bit to the tip of my nose. I would typically apply a liquid uh, blush as well, but I forgot to do that prior, and that needs to happen before you start applying powders. So now I'm just dabbing in that blush with the same sponge that I used to blend my base, um, and that just kind of helps make the color look like it's coming from the inside and not just sitting on the surface of your skin like you're actually blushing. All right, and now we're going in again with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and the fan. All right, and now we're going in with our Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in black. This is just your regular retractable crayon eyeliner, and I'm using that to line my uh, full eye as well as my tight line, my lower lash line, and then going in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. And I'm focusing that on the outer corner and creating a wing. This is a felt tip liner. 
All right, and now we're going in for lashes. These are Lily Lashes in the style Chicago. They're like a winged lash, and I'm applying that with the Duo Brush On Lash Glue with Vitamins, so the green packaged uh, Duo Lash Glue. I do apply my lashes with my fingers. I typically start from the middle, then press down the inner corner, and then the outer corner, and then just apply pressure to the whole band to make sure we have good contact all the way across. And now I'm applying the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara in black to my lower lashes because they are basically invisible. <laughs> there you go. All right, and now I'm taking a little makeup wipe and wiping off that lip balm that I applied earlier just so my uh, actual lip products will stay on. We're going in with the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. Chestnut and lining our lips. I'm just following the natural shape of my lip, no overlining. And now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Lipstick in Lawbreaker Sheer. Uh, and this is a really pretty color, even though it is sheer, it does apply like a nice color and it kind of looks almost like the color of my natural lip. And I'm just blending that together with the lip liner and then going in with this gloss. This is actually from a small black owned business called Floss and Flirt in the color Parfait. We're just gonna apply that all over. There we go, and now we're going in with our accessories. So these are small bamboo style hoops that I got from the website Vibe Season. They have really affordable, nice jewelry. Um, I think I've had these earrings for at least two years and they have not tarnished or turned colors, so uh, I recommend. And then now I'm going in with my second pair of earrings which is just a larger gold hoop I can't necessarily tell you where I got them from probably TJ Maxx maybe JCPenney all right going in with rings um, you see we're going with the green um, the ring on both my ring fingers were gifts from my mother and then the one on my middle finger is actually a crystal ring um, and then we have our beaded bracelets this is like my everyday jewelry there we go. And now we're gonna take down our hair and we're basically ready to go. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I enjoyed playing in some makeup. I did all of this to go nowhere. I literally did this just to film. But make sure you go ahead and check out the tutorial I have on this hair. And until next time, love y'all, peace.